Welcome to the new eAccess. Employers continually invest in making it easy for you to work with us. eAccess has received a thorough makeover specifically designed for the way agents work now and for the convenience and ease that policyholders expect. Several components of the new eAccess are designed to increase ease and flexibility perhaps none more so than the new e-billing options, which provides the ability to set up auto pay, the ability to make partial payments, ability to search by policy number, policy name, agent, and DBA, detail summary on each account of the policyholder's installment schedule, and the ability for agents to make payments or set up auto pay on behalf of policyholders will be added in a subsequent system update. And now to walk you through e-billing and to show how easy it is to use is Christine Nazi, Director of Customer Experience Operations and Payment Services. As a policyholder, when they come in under e-access and enter their ID and click through to e-billing, they will land on the policy dashboard. A great snapshot of everything they need right in front of them where they don't have to go search and click on many different menus and different screens to see what they're really looking for. If you click on make a payment and it's going to show you the current due, past due, policy balance and other payments. This is an option that they haven't had before as a user to make a partial payment and we now allow that a user to do so. If there's a past due amount, they can still make a partial payment. It will still show them if there's a past due balance um, in the event they don't pay the whole past due. So let's make a payment on this account as a one-time payment with a new checking account. We'll choose checking under account type. We'll enter our banking route, routing number. It will automatically populate the bank for the user to validate. They can enter their bank account number. It also shows them over here where to find that information in the event the user is not sure. If the user decides that they're entering a one-time payment that they now want to save this information to a payment profile for future use, they simply have to click on the save payment information and they have to give it a name. The user then has to enter the full name, the address that's on their bank account. From a policyholder perspective, the phone number and the email will pre-populate from their e-access account number. If they want to change their phone number or email, the, the user certainly can. What's very important for the user to remember is the email that is entered on this payment profile that we are setting up is where all their receipts are going to go to. So we can review the information on this payment, click review payment. It will show them the payment review date, amount, checking account where it came from, the bank name, and the nickname we gave it as a payment profile. The policyholder will review their terms and conditions, click on those terms and conditions to accept and hit submit to post their payment. They will get a payment confirmation screen. It will tell the user when that payment will post to their account. The user is now able to print a payment receipt right from this screen. They'll also receive an email automatically. They also can go back to their policy dashboard and view their detail screen, and the payment will now show up under payment history as pending. I'm gonna take you back to the policy dashboard and we're going to show you how simple it is now to be able to set up auto pay. We click on the auto pay button. We can either set up a new bank account or we can use one that we already saved. And because we just saved that payment profile, let's use that one and show you how simple it is. You click on the payment profile that you want. You review the auto pay. You read the terms and conditions as a user and click OK and hit submit. This account is now set up for auto pay. How you confirm that is you come back to your dashboard and instead of saying set up auto pay, it now says manage auto pay. It also says under the due date, auto pay enabled. If you change your mind and you want to disable your auto pay, you go under manage auto pay and simply click disable. It confirms for you what you are trying to accomplish. Yes, I want to disable. And if you look now back on your dashboard, the enabled message is gone and it now tells you if you want to set up in the future, you have that ability. So I'm gonna walk through the view details screen. This screen is a very high level summary for the user 
to see almost all information that they want to see within their policy from a billing and payment perspective. They will see their current amount due, past due, policy balance due date. They're able to make a payment again from this screen. They also can set up auto pay from this screen. The user will be able to see the effective date and expiration date, total amount that has been paid on this policy, any refunds that have been applied, the payment status being current, uh, past due, policy status, active, pending cancel, a new section for our users, which we've never had within e-billing before, is now they uh, will be able to see their entire installment schedule. It will also inform the user at this point, if they are not set up on an installment schedule without auto pay, to please do so, because they're going to be charged an installment fee. However, if they're set up on auto pay, we waive the installment fee. The user has the ability right from this link to again set up auto pay right here also if they just want to make a payment again there's a link they can click on it to pay their policy balance for help with login or navigation on the new e-access portal please call our service center at 1-800-700-9113 once again that's 1-800-700-9113 or watch more of our quick how-to videos on youtube by searching for employer's video, all one word, and find the e-access playlist.